Alright guys, so this is going to be a quick video on selection masks in Krita. Now if you want to take a look at it, here are the instructions for it, you can pause it real quick. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go over the process of using these in, uh, in Krita. So the advantage of these uh, selection masks is they're basically storage based or recallable uh, selections. Now. If I take this off, right, you know, you usually typically start with line art and then you want to select an area. Now I'm going to get rid of this one here. Uh, delete, delete, remove layer. All right, so this is just how you would start some typical line art. So then you would select an area here, right? And, you know, this is when you would start doing some, some stuff to it. I don't know, maybe adding some sort of gradient with it, right? But then you would maybe start doing some other work, so you would deselect that, and you would start maybe working on that area over here, or something like that, right? Trying to, trying to circle something. And then you're like, oh, I want to go and work in this specific area again. But you have a gradient on it now, and if you try to select that area, it's going to do weird stuff, right? Not stuff that you want to. So then you might, you know, try and go like, oh, I'm going to try and do this. But we know that doesn't really work. So... The solution Krita has to that is you select the area, maybe from your line art, and then you can make a selection mask off of that. So if I right click on here, and then if I add a local selection, so that's what it's called, this area here is saved to this layer here, as in memory. You can recall it. So I can take it off. Well, let's go to this one, let's go to select deselect right so right now it's off and I could have been working with with something else right now right whatever but now I can go back here and you see how even though there's a gradient there it's already it already has that safe selection there so now I can you know if I wanted to oh my bad control Z <laughs> right so if anything you draw in here is also edits this thing so in case you ever did want to change it you can change it so if I go back up here though on the actual layer I can color within those boundaries and then I can, you know, take that off and then be on the layer again and color outside of it just like I could any other ones. And then come back here and then say, hey, I, I didn't really like that. Go back up here, you know, make it red or something because red's the best color. No, so it's just a way of storing your selected layers, which um, if you're starting from line arts and if you set those up properly, it'll make your life a lot easier. All right, so that's it.